Greetings, my name is Andy and I'm part of the Profile Support Team. In this video, I will show you how to create a report using either Classic Database or Client Explorer. For either database, the method to create the report is similar. For Client Explorer, open your Client Explorer and create a filter to select the year and module for the report you'd like to create. Select the clients to include, then click the database menu and select Print Report. From here, click the Options button to design the report itself. For Classic Database, click the Database menu, then select Report. Select the tab for the year and module you want to create the report for, select the clients you want to include, and then click the Options button on the right to create the design of the report itself. In this area, you will create the design of your report. The top row contains the column headings that will be displayed on the top of each page and the second row contains the actual information extracted from the selected tax returns. This row will repeat over and over for every client previously selected. To modify the contents of a cell, select the cell and either type in the text box at the bottom if it's the column heading or click the pick button on the right and select the field code for the information you want to appear in that cell. To create a new column, click the Add button to the right of Column. The method is the same for the cell contents. You can create as many columns as you like, but keep in mind page size restrictions. In this example, we will create four columns. Sometimes you may want to include field codes that aren't normally included on the forms, for instance e-file status. In this case, instead of picking the code from a list, simply type it in the text box at the bottom. You'll notice that the letters alternate from being red or black. If they are red, Profile does not recognize it as being an acceptable field code. If they are black, Profile does. You can increase or decrease the column width by simply dragging the borders in this design view. Plus, you can click the Properties button and have a lot more latitude in the way that you format your report. You can change the font, the background color, and various other things to make your report more presentable. You could also create headers and footers for your report. Type what you'd like to appear as the heading for every page, and then select it and make any adjustments to the font size or the positioning. Do the same for the footer, and this will appear at the bottom of every page. On the Format tab, you can select the printer to use and change some additional formatting for margins, number of copies, as well as the orientation of the report itself. Click OK and you'll be prompted to save your report, which is always a good idea so you don't have to recreate your work later. Then click Print Report and your report will be printed to the same printer that you selected previously. Let's take a look at what a scan of our report looks like. It's simple, not very elegant, but you can add colors and different fonts and design it to the level of professionalism that you prefer. In summary, select the files for your report, Design the column headings and report structure. Select the information to include. Then print the report. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you continue to enjoy using Profile and other fine Intuit products.